Hi, I'm Jonathan Lau. I am going to demonstrate for you how to do limb begging. We're going to use the Canary Ozone Generator. We've got that already set up. If you're interested in seeing how that's set up, you can watch the video that demonstrates that on our channel. Um, we've got our oil in our oil bubbler and we've got our patient ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and walk through this. Um, let's go ahead and start with our ozone generator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the knob to make sure that's on and there's oxygen flowing into my regulator. Um, I can go ahead and turn my regulator on. I'm going to set it at a fairly high flow rate at first to allow the lines to purge quickly with, with oxygen so that when I turn my ozone generator on, I'm creating ozone with that pure oxygen. I am going to go ahead and turn this off to my to my uh, outlet port so that this is with this particular device uh, ozone generator it's actually running into an ozone destruct inside the generator. I'm going to take my my tubing that will run from my ozone generator and in this particular case I'm just going to connect that directly to the limb bag and we're going to create ozone and run that into the limb bag without an oil bubbler to begin with. So I have an inlet port here. Depending on the limb bag, um, it'll vary. Potentially, you may not have an outlet port. Uh, this one does. That's off right now. Um, so as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to turn my ozone on to this particular port so that it'll fill my bag. But first, I want to make sure I've got all the air out of the bag. Um, before I start doing the treatment, just to make sure that whatever goes in there is actually ozone and not just oxygen. So, and then I'll turn my port off here, uh, turn sideways, that means it's off, and uh, that's ready to go. I've got this sealed as well as I can around the body here, um, and that's what you'll do around whatever limb. Um, if I'm treating an animal, I'm typically going to use some vet wrap on their paw. I haven't done that, but um, just wrap their paw with a little bit of that not, so as not to puncture the bag. I know I'm moving quickly. You may have to go back and rewatch this, but I just want to uh, move through this fairly quickly. Um, so now I'm going to turn my ozone generator on so that I'm actually creating ozone. And I'm going to turn this key off to my destruct so that it comes up through the generator and into my tube and then begins to fill my bag. So now I've got ozone gas running directly from the generator to the bag. That's going to begin to fill and I should begin to see the bag expanding. Now, I've got this set at a high flow rate right now, but if I'm going to follow the treatment guide for veterinary ozone therapy, I want to get uh, somewhere around 40 to 60 micrograms per milliliter of ozone into the bag. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust my setting on my regulator to give me, in this case, I'm going to put it at a, uh, a 10 on this regulator, which is going to give me close to about 45 micrograms per milliliter. Um, so if you're treating a, a wound or something and you're, it's at a, um, just the initial stages of treating that wound, you can start at a pretty high concentration, let's say 70, 60 micrograms per milliliter. Then as that wound heals, um, you're going to want to reduce the concentration. If you're treating another ailment or condition of some sort, uh, it'll, it'll vary, but somewhere in between that, you know, 30 to 60 range is fairly normal as far as the concentration. So I'm gonna let this just sit for about five to 10 minutes, and that'll be my limb bag treatment. As soon as this is filled up, I'm actually gonna turn, and we're just gonna pretend it's full at this point, I'm going to turn my ozone off to the bag and then I'm going to turn my valve here off as well and then I'll just let it sit. I can actually at that point if I'd like to disconnect from the ozone generator, turn my ozone generator and my oxygen off and uh, I've got ozone in the bag and it's being absorbed into the, the tissue. Now if you want ozone to absorb well, you have to make sure the tissue is moist. So I usually like to encourage uh, just wetting the skin or the fur prior to putting the bag on. That's a great way to do it. Um, so that's how to do an ozone limb bag treatment without an oil bubbler. Let's just look at how to do it now with an oil bubbler and talk about that quickly. So let's put our patient aside 
take our oil bubbler and what we're going to do is we're going to take the tube that was running to the limb bag and we're simply going to connect that to the inlet of the oil bubbler which is this middle tube that goes right down the center so I'm going to connect that up okay and just make sure all these connections are snug they don't have to be over tightened but if they're loose you will get ozone leaking so just keep that in mind I'm going to take my secondary tube and I'm going to connect that right to this to the exhaust port of this oil bubbler and I will connect that then up to the port that I did have connected initially with without the bubbler the ozone inlet port now I'm going to open that and the same process so I'll, I'll set the I'll let the ozone um, run I'll turn this so that ozone is actually running out here turn my oxygen on to the proper setting which in this case um, I'm going to leave it at about a nine you'll see that I'm bubbling here you'll see little bubbles being created if that's not happening you know there's a problem um, so just make sure that's happening the reason I use an oil bubbler at times is because if I don't have good ventilation and I am not using an oil bubbler I can get ozone leaking into the air and what takes we don't want to breathe a lot of ozone we want to be careful about inhaling ozone it can damage the lungs so that's why I use a bubbler when I buffer the ozone with oil it actually allows me to breathe that ozone safely it's actually not ozone it changes the comp composition of the ozone from ozone gas to ozonides and peroxides and that vapor is what ascends and then uh, it exits the the port here and fills the bag um, so that's the process with an oil bubbler once I'm done with this I will actually disconnect um, I'll actually just shut the the port um, again turn my oxygen off turn my generator off um, I can take that and let that sit now when I want to uh, get rid of the ozone that's in this bag because not all of it's going to be absorbed into the tissue um, there's a couple ways I can do that my preferred way to do it is to take the tape off hold have somebody holding that and then just keep it pressed against the body and take it off of the the pet take it outside and let it out um, it's just the fastest easiest way to do it another way to do it is to actually connect this exhaust port um, to a destruct either of the ports to be honest and uh, and then open that up and then go ahead and express as much of that oxygen ozone mixture as possible out of the destruct the issue with doing it this way is that you're going to get some of it actually exiting out the side that's sealed because we just can't seal well enough around fur um, so that tends to be an issue um, so that's how to do a limb bag treatment thank you for watching I hope this was helpful for you